Hey, and welcome to Northern Chris. In this video, I moved my shipping container to its final resting spot. It was stuck on the driveway because the truck couldn't back all the way up because it was too narrow. I couldn't have done it without some friend's help. In this video, I drag it pretty far, probably 250 feet. I also had to move about 31 tons of gravel. Hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. A new video is uploaded every Friday. Thanks so much for watching. So quick update, I ended up having to use uh, seven and a half tons of two inch minus to basically build this road over the existing dirt. Um, Cause the truck, the first truck couldn't get back here. So we dumped it here. I made this bridge so we could dump two more loads here so I can put the shipping container at the back. You can see here, I didn't get it on camera but the guy had a heck of a time getting out these huge ruts. He was just spinning his wheels. Got really lucky. He was not happy, but appreciate all the work that driver did making this happen. So again, two inch minus. This is what the container is going to lay on or sit on. Some patio slabs I have to remove still. This is seven and a half tons down and then seven and a half tons uh, still be laid. So it's called two inch minus because each one of these is approximately two inches. And then everything else is smaller, so it's a good mix for drainage. And it holds together really well. I also put this on my driveway. That'll be a different video. So let's get at her and let's try to level this off so the next time I'm here, I can get the container moved. Because again, the container's sitting right there. It's stuck up on those logs. I need to cut a few more trees down. Some of the trees I used were rotten. So I probably need about two more logs and I can drag it hopefully the rest of the way onto that pad. And then again, the next focus is just cutting these trees down. So long process. People don't realize how much work it is. Alright, so I leveled it off, not perfectly, it slopes to the back a bit, but that's okay. I rode over it a few times with the tractor to pack it all down.
So now let's see if I can drag that container at all. It'd be great if I could put this in place tonight. Only a few hours of daylight left. If not, I'll have to wait for some friends to come and give me a hand. All right, so now's the time to move the shipping container to its final spot. Plan is to roll the roll it on these logs. I first have to shift the container a little bit left because it's veering off. And the plan, final resting spot. Hopefully everything goes to plan. Roll it in there, lift it up, pull the logs out, and that'll be it. And that's where it's gonna stay. So it's the next weekend. I got the container on the pad. But what happened? I couldn't push it the right direction. So I'm off. Put two and a half, three feet here. You can see around back. Only half the shipping container at the back here is on. So I'm gonna take some chains. Hopefully I can drag it with the tractor, just kind of pivot. If I can just move it a couple feet, I'll be happy. It's getting closer. Okay, so that's not gonna work any more of an angle. So I'm gonna clear these trees. Hope I can get the tractor over here so I can pull it more of a diagonal that way. That's the plan. So let's clear these trees and let's go from there. I didn't get this part on camera. I was coming over here to clear this brush and I actually didn't hit the boom on the corner of this container and it shifted. So I came in here with the tractor with the bucket and I pushed it over. And as you can see, it shifted it over quite a bit. So it's now 90% on the two inch minus, which is amazing. You can see here, it's quite a bit over from where it was. So it's off maybe a foot, but again, it's all in those slabs. So I'm really happy with that. I didn't think it was gonna happen. And then hopefully I can get the outhouse started over here. But yeah, as you can see, just this little corner here is not on it, but I think that's okay. The rest is, I don't think this thing's going anywhere. <laughs> 